Uh, my name is Molly. Uh, I'm from Monroe, Michigan, and my question is, uh, what uh, what role would you want to play in any production? A musical, a movie, a Broadway production? What's your dream role to play? Either in something that's already been made or something in the future? Real specific question, right? Real easy. Oh, you're gonna get it. I want to play Iago. From Aladdin? Girl, uh, you just killed him. How many times uh, can we kill him today? Uh, uh, Damn, we've both been on that floor now. I think it's such a Sorry. hard, there's so many things racking my brain, but uh, it, it, uh, I, every time I go to see a, a play, more than movies, generally when I see, generally when I see movies, I'm like, that actor's fucking amazing. Um, but when I go see plays, I always see, I always try to imagine myself, I always get excited and go, oh, I want to play that. And uh, the play that I did in the spring called The Humans was one that I saw on Broadway uh, uh, two years ago. And I saw that play actually with um, stands and shirts, shirts from stands, not the business stands. Um, and uh, I was like, this play is unbelievable. I want to do it so badly. And then I found out that they were doing a regional production of it in Canada. And I asked if I could audition. And I got the part. And it was. Oh, it's such a bucket list moment for me, and uh, I feel like with theater, more than anything, I always dream of playing roles, but there's so many. But right now, I'm gonna be an asshole and say, I really want to play Lady Gaga's role in A Star Is Born. Because <laughs> I have a mild obsession with Lady Gaga. I think she's unfucking believable I really do. She owns everything she is. She's incredibly multi-talented, but... I, uh, I would like to be Rowena in season 19. Because <laughs> I'd still have a job. And I love it. I'd also like to be Poison Ivy in... Uh, I think it's called the past. I, I've always been surprised. Uh, I was never an actress that was like, I have to play this role. I've always been surprised by what I've been given, and it's always been... Uh, uh, it's always been so delightful to dis to discover. Um, so I'm sort of like those were kind of you know jokey answers because I'm also sort of, I'm sort of scared to say like I want to really really want to play this because I don't want to jinx what has been a kind of surprising journey. One of my favourite things I ever did was Mrs. Beaver. Like who who knew playing a beaver could be like one of the best things. Yeah, you literally <laughs> played a beaver. Mrs. Fucking Beaver. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> what is it? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh, I see, I see. Sarah Oom. Oh, somebody just. You're the same one who just realized that I was on Zack and Cody, aren't you? Let <laughs> <laughs> me introduce you to IMDb. <laughs> you can find out all the stuff we've done on that web. Yes. <laughs> Don't look at my I just, IMDb. And by the way, I just want to point you out for people in wheelchairs. Yes! This would be awesome. That aren't about the fact that you're in yes, a wheelchair. That, exactly. That would be nice. We talked a bit about that yesterday, right? Of just like, hey, how about just people? How about just people are playing characters instead of having to make a point of everything? The, um, there's a series called The Book Group, which was really good in Scotland, and they had characters, um, all, and that was the point, right? It was like, that, it wasn't the point. <laughs> like, it's about what else was happening. 
So it's good, good scenes. Although, you kind of play one in my life. I keep forgetting your... <laughs> and it's an important... I was amazing. I was, in, I was in the wheelchair accessible room in one of these hotels, and it sucked so badly. And I had all of these feelings about it. And I was like, if only I had a good friend who was in a wheelchair I could talk to about this. And I literally came in the next day and I was like, oh shit, oh, oh, I have to talk to you about something involving, apparently, you're in a wheelchair. I don't know if you know this. I don't want to break it to you. I'm like, I should probably be more gentle when I break it to you. Fuck. You have to deal with some shit. Yes. Amazing. No, but also you wrote the most awesome review because it's something I never, for some reason, when things are happening to me, I never think to complain. I'm always like, ah, yeah, this kind of sucks, but I don't tell anyone. Um, but Kim noticed everything that is always wrong with accessible rooms, and it was brilliant. Yeah, I want to read that review. I wrote a scathing review. Oh, I want to read it too. Should I find it? Somebody Somebody answer all the questions. Oh, I don't have my phone with me. Never mind. I'm like reaching Somebody down for my purse. I, yeah, I did. Maybe someday I'll remember. My phone on stage and find it. Yeah, yeah. Find it. 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 Find it.